Lorenzo Hunt in the ring. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh. Boxing is considered a gentleman's sport. However, some fighters choose the sneaky path and try to win through despicable acts or trickery. Such fighters have no principles of fairness and honesty. And for these actions, the fans rightly call these athletes by the term rat. Today, we'll show you the prime examples where dirty fighters killed their humanity and received brutal punishments as a prize. Enjoy watching. No chance of South oh, there. Julie got a winner right here. Down goes he did a rat act oh, and was punished. Hey, he's out. No. On the stare down before his fight against Arek Verzosek, Badr Hari did a real rat act. Oh, no, here we go. Badr Hari, always a fast starter. Let's see. Literally in the first seconds of the fight, Hari sent Arek to the dream realm. I can just guarantee you there'll be a oh! But apparently Arik had enough sleep that day and continued the fight. The rodent was not satisfied with this outcome and forced Arik to sit down to rest again. Oh, he's down for a second time! But fueled by vengeance, Arik found the strength to get up to complete his anti-rat mission. Frightened by his opponent's persistence, Hari committed another rat act by hitting his opponent after the bell. In the next round, the rodent decided to test Arik's strength again. But apparently, Arik turned on the Chuck Norris mode, and that's why he was indestructible on this day. After surviving another storm, Arik subdued his opponent once and for all with a precise high kick, thus punishing the famous rat. newly crowned featherweight champion Claudio Marrero, after his dominant win in the title fight, made his first title defense against Jesus Rojas. After being so exalted, the champion didn't take the simple Puerto Rican seriously, humiliatingly pushing him in one of the episodes. Claudio did have a good result, firing off quick and multi-punch combinations. Claudio saw no competition in Rojas and emphasized his dominance by bullying his opponent over and over again. Mouse King went out of bounds and sneakily through two punches after the referee separated them. <laughs> to avenge those two punches, Rojas hit three hooks and put the dirty rat on his butt. After such powerful punches, Claudio's confidence and arrogance broke down. Afraid to continue the fight, he gave his belt to the real champion, Jesus Rojas. On December 15, 2018, Ryan Garcia and Berlio Rodriguez fought at the famous Madison Square Garden Arena in a lightweight bout. At the weigh-in before the fight, the sneaky Rodriguez decided to do the rat act and shoved Garcia, hitting a girl who was standing behind King Ryan. The scoundrel didn't take young Garcia seriously and continued the moral pressure by making unflattering remarks about him in the media. If Ryan is watching, what do you tell him? Yes, if Ryan is watching this video, what do you say? Because, because you're scared of me, you're a chicken, tomorrow you're gonna fight with a real man who is me. The long-awaited day of retribution had arrived. Slowed for him though, of late. Let's see if he was up. The sneaky rodent from the first round began to intentionally provoke Garcia. I mean, these guys are not just fighting, they are thinking. <laughs> well, <it's also laughs> Rodriguez so doing the punching now. Garcia. For which he was sent to a preventive knockdown. Here for one of the announcing teams. Good hook! And Rodriguez goes down! Apparently, before the fight, Rodriguez trained only showy behavior as he constantly displayed it. You know what? Rodriguez, I mean, he impressing me. I mean. <laughs> but we're almost there as Canelo Alvarez makes his.
Garcia was smashing the curly rat with powerful punches. Conventionally against Ryan Garcia, it's not gonna win. <laughs> Realizing that the rat's hell was near, the rodent started throwing illegal punches. He is game, firing back hard. I don't think so, but it might be. His points were taken off, but the scoundrel felt an inner joy because at this time, Garcia did not beat him. Rodriguez tried to show that Garcia's punches weren't hurting him by making faces, trying piss Ryan off. By that extended left hand, and he does. Right hand and a hook by Garcia. Rodriguez says he's not hurt. By Garcia, Rodriguez says... But Garcia continued to work in his lightning-fast style. A rain of punches from Ryan sent the sneaky squirrel into a knockout. How did he weather that? Another one! And a hook, and down he goes! In doing so, Ryan Garcia punished the rat defending his honor and that of the beautiful girl. Not only that, Ray, the first knockdown was a hook. That was a hard right hand, and yes, Ryan Garcia! In February 2012, in Munich, there was a super heavyweight title fight between champion Vitaly Klitschko and challenger Derek Chisora. Derek Chisora is a boxer who is known for his rude and disrespectful behavior. On the right. And that. At the official weigh-in before the fight, Shizora committed a real rat act. In an attempt to humiliate, he slapped an unsuspecting Klitschko. The long-awaited fight came. The sneaky Chizora, seeing Champ, decided to attack him before the fight. The rat apparently wanted to get into the book of rat records, so Derek approached Vitaly's brother Vladimir and mockingly spat in his face. But Vladimir did not react to this disrespectful act leaving the enjoyment of punishing the rat to his older brother. From the start of the fight, Klitschko took round after round, smashing the rat king's face. Klitschko would completely smash the rodent, and in turn, the rodent would smash the air, apparently for the air not saturating his lungs. The champion defended his belt from the sneaky rat's encroachments and punished it, winning the fight by unanimous decision of the judges. WBC, heavyweight champion of On 12 December 2015, two unbeaten heavyweights, Anthony Joshua and Dillian White, met in the capital of the United Kingdom. These fighters had already shared the ring once in the amateurs, with White proving to be the stronger man. In a pre-fight interview, Dillian White mockingly recalled his amateur victory. That wasn't, that wasn't that was no good. experienced boxing fight. That was, that was a barn fest. That was not no... There was no skill involved in the fight. That was just, that was like a street fight. That's all having, it was. Having and, skill is and, being number one. No, no, listen. In that fight, you were shy, you got disheartened, you got beat down. At the end of the fight, you fold over, you, you was running away. Arrogant White failed to recognize Joshua as an opponent, insulting him in every way possible. Well, you see that I'm different from all of them. What was different about him? My mindset. I don't scared of nobody. I don't scared of a skinny bodybuilder. But Joshua refused to be provoked and offered a handshake as a sign of respect. But cocky white ignored by the gesture. Yeah. Best of luck, well, best of luck December 12th. No, no, no. Be a man. I don't want to shake your hand. I don't need to shake your hand. All this, good this, luck, good all luck, this, good this, all this fake. Boys, Listen, I don't need this. You can stand December up and try and stay me down. I don't care. Equal height and weight to those lads, aren't you? Joshua came into the fight with a vengeance and from the first round began to crush the disrespectful Dillian White. Yeah, really. So White will be targeting that, there's another two. And White at the moment is backed up. Yeah, but we'll just roll with it here. Realizing that the standing in front of him was no longer the same amateur, but a real machine, villain White did the real rat act by hitting Anthony after the bell. Seven, eight, nine rounds. That's Look up. at White, White's gone crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Everybody's in there. Peter Sims looks looks like he wants to have a go. Despite the brawl, the fight was not stopped, and Mean Rat continued to deliberately provoke Joshua. White well, just seems to be a little bit out of ideas, and Joshua keeps picking him off at range like that. Ass. Anthony decided to keep the rodent in good spirits and landed a powerful punch that had him dancing. Oh, it's a good shot, Nick. Rocked him. 
Early, out of nowhere. Having had enough of playing with the hamster, Anthony gave Joshua a lesson in manners and sent the cocky rat into a deep knockout. She's playing the matador in there at the moment. Oh! Watching him with a huge a longer than that. If you enjoyed watching, please leave a like and subscribe.